going to try to finish up Mortal Kombat Deception today. I've uh, been told by Rue that this game is very hard. The last fight, at least, is very hard. So we'll see how well it goes. It could go very poorly. Um, but fingers crossed it doesn't take us too, too long to finish it up. Also, hello, YouTube land. Hi. How you guys doing? Thank you for being here. Same with you guys, the live viewers. Thank you guys for being here. Whoever's here. Nate, of course, but anyone else. I started listening to The Cimmerillion. Very cool, man. I uh, have never read it other than watching some videos online about it. I know next to nothing about The Cimmer Cimmerillion. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. That should hopefully be enough. And then turn down my own stuff here. There we go. Um, but yeah, like I've, I've read some stuff about it online i've watched some videos about it it looks really cool i definitely want to read it at some point but i haven't yet so but very cool man i hope you enjoy it there's a uh, from what i've seen online there's some really interesting stories in the cimmerillion some really interesting lore aggressive on yes continue i don't know why it doesn't save that <laughs> I guess it's probably just safer to have that turned off in case, like, you hook it up to a TV that doesn't support progressive scan. So then they just, uh, just automatically turn it off every time you restart the game, just in case. That's my best guess, at least, but I don't know, man. Still weird. I hate when the screen isn't centered, though, so got to come back and center it up a little bit. Just get those nasty black borders around it and whatnot. Just, nobody wants that, man. All right, back into Conquest. Ooh, not Puzzle Combat. Conquest mode. We are somewhere in the game. I think we're just got to the last uh, realm, if I remember correctly. I don't remember what this realm's called. But we went there. <laughs> and we need to do something there. I don't remember what or why. I know we were invited to, to take place in the Mortal Kombat. And then we were arrested for some amount of time. Hence why we are old, old man now. But beyond that, I don't really remember anything. Where are we? Adenia. Very cool. So is this like... Is Adenia meant to be like the like the Garden of Eden esque sort of realm? Like a uh a uh da, 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 a utopian or something like that? I'm assuming that's kind of what is going on here. It definitely looks really nice. It's pretty with all the green, it's got the nice trees. The little the little things here, is that is there water down there or are we just floating? Well we are I'm assuming there's supposed to be water down there based on all the waterfalls. With how high up we are, though, where is this water coming from? I suppose it's just magic. Hello, you. You you emerged from the portal to the gods. Somebody's how loud out there. How can this be? I am Shujinko, champion of the Elder Gods. I am searching the realms for artifacts that will aid in the fight against evil. My quest has led me here. I am Princess Kitana. If you are the champion of the Elder Gods, perhaps you can aid us in our struggle. There was a time long ago when the Emperor Shao Kahn merged Edenia with Outworld. Her hair? How does it hook like that? For millennia, he ruled the combined realms until my Earthrealm allies and I won Edenia's independence. Now Shao Kahn has again invaded this realm. He has learned that a powerful device lies hidden somewhere within our borders and may have sent his forces here to find it. Shao Kahn? He must be after the Edenian Kamidogu. This situation is worse than I had suspected. How may I be of help, Princess Katana? My mother, Queen Sindel, has been taken captive. I cannot free her myself because I must return to Outworld to lead our forces there in a direct assault against the Emperor. Free the Queen! so that she may lead the resistance here in Edenia. Where is the queen being held? She is imprisoned somewhere near the palace, guarded by the traitor, Tanya. You must defeat Tanya in order to release her. I will win the freedom of your queen. Of this you can be sure. Thank you, Shujinko, and good luck. Her hair is just so unnatural, man. I couldn't help but chuckle. 
All right, so uh, I'm assuming the Edenia is actually meant to be kind of like heaven or something like that, since she's talking about the Earth Realm warriors freeing the the land here. So like maybe when you die, if you are a good person, this is where you come or something, instead of going to what what was it called the the uh, underworld for for the evil people, which was the the equivalent of hell. I mean that makes sense, right? If they have one realm that's the equivalent of hell that they would have another that's the equivalent of of heaven here i hear a goat can i beat a goat wait was it just a background noise i don't actually see it anywhere but i definitely heard one bleeping lame i don't think it's actually here i wanted to punch a goat dude oh i missed oh well all right let's find you don't look like you belong here <laughs> It's still one of my favorite things in this stupid game. It's just the ability to just go around and punch General random people. General will lead us to another victory. Hell, Rako. Hmm. You seem a little sus, my guy. Why can I not... It, you know, they're the people that are taking over the palace or whatever. Why can I not fight them? <laughs> That'll never get old, man. That's... <laughs> The one thing in this game I could just do over and over again. Just running around punching random people. Excuse me, but I am looking for the one known as Tanya. Would you happen to know her whereabouts? I am Tanya. Do you have business with the Emperor Shao Kahn? Not exactly. I come to ask that you release Queen Sindel. She has been unjustly held captive by Shao Kahn's forces. <laughs> you are a fool, old man. I have been instructed by Shao Kahn himself to guard her with my life. You will have to get past me if you wish to free her. So be it. Very well. Let's go. Now, is she gonna, even though we're supposed to be fighting her, is she gonna teach us her ways of combat first? Like uh, most of the people here seem to do? <laughs> or are we actually just gonna fight her? And if we do end up fighting her, who are we gonna be, man? Hopefully it's somebody I can actually control reasonably well. I can't even remember what the last character we were. Who the last character we were was. That that sounds like English. I'm sure that's fine. My god, is this loading screen taking forever? I was hoping it would actually load a little bit faster now since we cleaned the laser the other day to play SpongeBob. It's getting there. Slowly but surely. There we go. Look, you're full. Just go ahead. Switch the... Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Recent L by defeating Tanya. Oh, we're actually fighting as ourselves? What? Holy shit. How do we block again? Well, that's how... Okay. That's how we grab. That's block. We haven't fought as ourselves in so long, dude. Ow. Dude, this is gonna be rough, man. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I think... I think maybe I should look at the, uh... The move list real quick. Momentous Claw. So down and squares low. I don't know what that is. Low kick, down and circle. About, okay, and we have a couple basic combos. Old timer, square, square, triangle, back square. Oh. Oh, oh. Ow. <laughs> oh, God. Man. Okay. She's good. She's good. It doesn't help, like I said. I'm very out of practice with him. Well, I mean, it's also just been a week in general, but still. We haven't actually fought a Shujinko in a while, dude. Yeah. 
What's the uh, specials? How do we see? Oh god, perfection, square, square, triangle, L one, huh? Time and space, forward circle, square X. We're gonna die trying to figure out how to play. Yep. <laughs> okay. This fight might take a minute or two. Damn you. Damn, dude. Huh. Why can we not block her grab? <laughs> That's fine. Try again. It's weird. I keep getting disconnected from chat, but everything else seems to be working okay, so... Fingers crossed the stream doesn't go down today. Okay, just gotta wait for an opening, maybe? Goat her in. There's one. Wins. Round two. Got this. Fight. You're not the only one that can grab, dude. <laughs> Oh, goddamn break, please. Holy shit, dude. That was damn near flawless, man. She got us on that one. Round three. Fight. How, what we need a combo for Shallon Fist, man. What's a what's a combo? Square triangle circle. Is there a simpler one? Square circle circle X? It's not bad. Square circle circle X. Okay. <laughs> Damn, dude. It's all right. It's all right. We just gotta, you know, de-rust. Get back into it here. Round one. Fight. <laughs> I didn't mean to break that time, honestly. Holy shit, she's gonna actually get a flawless victory on us. We probably should've just let her kill her. Probably should've just let her kill us instead of uh, wasting our last breaker there. It's gonna make the next fight a lot harder. We've gotten a couple kills on her. We were pretty close that time. We can do this. 
I do hope, legitimately, I hope we just stay as Jujinko for the rest of the, the time, though. Because that'll make things a lot easier. What are special moves? Just Knee Popper. That's it. We don't have any other special moves. Wow. Oh, our moveset with the, uh... With the sword sucks too, doesn't it? We have no, like, big combos with it or anything. Okay, so we'll probably just stick with Mantis and try to learn that. I'm, <laughs> Look, I'm not going to remember all these. <laughs> Forward circle, square, square, L1, triangle, circle, L1, square. Yeah, that's not going <laughs> to... There's no way... Square, square, triangle, circle, square, square, X, square, 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 okay. Yeah, there's some relatively easy... Oh, what was that? What? I tried to grab you. We're dead. Hmm. Unless there's like a special move we have, or not a special move, but a, a combo we have that lets us cover a lot of range, we really struggle close up. Or not close up. When we're not close up, rather. Damn, dude. She's got juggles, too. We're dead. Wow. Wow. Round one. Fight. It doesn't help that our that our uh, grab does so little damage. So we can't even try to like. I mean, I guess we can try to cheese it with just the just the blocks. I don't know if she's just timing her grabs excellently, or do grabs get through blocks in general? I didn't think they did, but but maybe they do. Boy, we might be in for a bit of a challenge. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Just gotta wait for our moment. Fair. I mean, <laughs> round two. Fight. She's good at a. Uh... Nah, it's too slow. There we go. Just got to get quicker. Like, the, the opening after they attack to attack them back is very slow. Just got to get that reaction time. Hope she doesn't start going for throw cheese. Yeah. Okay. 
Oops. Saw that coming. As soon as she started blocking my attack, I knew I was screwed, dude. Round one. Fight! I didn't mean to break that. That was a close one, dude. <laughs> There we go, man. <laughs> Takes a little bit of practice. Got to de-rust. Got to get back into it. Ugh. Okay. That was only one fight, though. And uh, I expect it to get harder <laughs> as time goes on. So if we just stay Shujinko, we might be okay because I can actually get used to him. But we'll see what the game decides to do to us, man. It might, it might let us have it easy or it might decide to screw us over. It's hard to say. Any moment game. Continue on. I hear that. There we go. Good job. I'm assuming the princess is right there. In the room. I think this is the first time that we've beat someone up and they've just been like dead on the ground afterwards. Normally after we beat them up, they like have a conversation with us and shit. You are a Teach us something. Be become our Shao friend. Khan's military, are you not? I am Shujinko, champion of the Elder Gods. I have come to release you at the request of your daughter, Kitana. She is currently in Outworld, confronting Shao Kahn's army. Kitana lives? You are truly the bearer of good tidings, Shujinko. That be come. me. Come, we must leave here now before anyone realizes that I have escaped. Follow me, and I will reward you for your efforts. What kind of reward are we talking about, Miss Queen? I'm assuming she's going to teach us to fight as her, honestly. Which I don't know how good of a reward that is, considering she was trapped by the army that I just, uh, presumably beat up one of the, the higher ranking people in it. I mean, if I was an emperor of some kind and I needed someone guarded, I would probably put one of my best people on it. I don't think the audio loaded. I am Queen Sindel. I am grateful that you risked your life for me. It is an honor, Your Highness. Please, I allow me to repay your gallantry. I am grateful that you risked your life to free me. I wish to bestow upon you the combat skills of an Adinian knight. Indeed, Do you Queen accept? Sindel. I accept. They all kind of uh, played over each other a little bit there, but there we go. And just as I suspected, she's going to teach us to fight as her. Which is fine. Actually, it's not fine. <laughs> the more I think about it, that probably means the next fight after this, we're going to have to play as her. And I, I don't want to do that, man. Stop switching people on me, please. <laughs> it's cool that, that we get experience like all of the characters the game has to offer. My god, does it make it so much harder. Dini and Knight must first undergo Zha Chuan. I'm probably butchering that. Basic high attack training. Yoke punch. No name. Rising axe kick. Ooh, nice. Got a pop-up attack with just a basic with just a basic X. I like that. Southern side kick. Very good. Graduate to low attacks. Down X. Down whatever. Down circle. Back X. Okay. Basic enough. Final Fantasy 10 and howdy, howdy. Hello, sir. 
Dinian knights are known for their courage in battle. Learn these Dinian power and pop up attack. <laughs> Chest clincher. Oh, it's like a high knee. Okay. Uppercut, of course, and spring leg. She's got a lot of pop ups, which I appreciate. I like the pop ups. I suck at juggling, but I like them. The idea of it's cool. Pretty simple combo. So far, it's my kind of character. Master of Dinian Basics. Let's see how you do with more advanced combos. Bro, why can't all combos be like that? Just, <laughs> just let me mash circle a bunch of times. Square, square, triangle, wait. Back, square, wait, down, triangle. Damn it, I did back, triangle. Not bad, not bad. I'll never pull that off in an actual fight, but <laughs> I'm glad it's there. Ujai Po? Ujao Pai? Nope. Uh, roundhouse? Very good. Thank you, thank you. Low claws, low, low toe. Oh damn, you got a lot of low attacks, huh? Very good. Really like kicking people in the shin, I see. That's, that's a power. Not a big fan of the power moves. Because they push people away from you. Generally speaking, I don't have great range combat skills. Good job. Hell yeah. Fancy. Up circle square square turn. Too late. Punched her right in the vagine. Excellent. I didn't post into. Oh, you're right, I didn't. I've been terrible at that recently. I just never think to. We shall do it now. Yeah, <laughs> I literally haven't posted in Discord since last Wednesday, even though we've been uh, live at least three other times. <laughs> Oh, no, we're going to run out of time. Oh, well, it's fine. It'll just redo. Uh, yeah. Hello again. Forgot to post as usual, but the stream is live. Hopefully, we will be finishing. I misspelled that. Mistyped it, rather. Uh, Mortal Kombat Deception today. Finishing. Thank you. There we go. Uh, speed run. X circle. There we go. Dope. Well done. Ah, it's getting a drink, man. More low attacks. That turning Amazon is that what it said? This game pro Amazon. I mean, I'm a pretty big fan of Amazon myself. I've got nothing against it. That is a weird attack. <laughs> I mean, I, it's like a kind of like an uppercut with the sword, I guess. But just the movement for it there. It's a weird, uh, weird animation, I guess. Fantastic. Cutting you up. Ancient secret. <laughs> it's called hitting you with the back of my stick. Good job. That's our ancient secret. Circle, circle, square, circle, circle, X. Too late. I did square. There we go. Her moveset just doesn't seem to have, like, the punchiness to it that some of the other ones do. I don't know. 
Again, I'll probably never do that in combat, but... Well done. If I had, like, a main that I was on, I could probably learn to switch between the styles, but right now I struggle enough to learn one style. I'll be real, I thought I fucked that one up, man. The last couple inputs were kind of slow, but I guess it was forgiving because it was in the middle of animations for the other ones. <laughs> okay, it's a medium range. Very good. <laughs> it looks so fucking dumb the way she just kind of floats there, wailing her arms for a second. Star screamer. Fantastic. Cool, cool. Oh, that's just rude, dude. <laughs> Grab her by the ankles and kick her in the face. And Banshee Scream, and then... I'm assuming this is going to be the next one. Nope. Ah! Oh, shit. Doing the wrong inputs. That's why it's not working. <laughs> our head was like tracking her. I don't know if anyone saw, but our head was tracking the, the other lady there. So whenever she was in that Banshee scream thing, just like jerking up and down, our head was just bobbing <laughs> along with her. Round Ridiculous. Fight. Too slow. Get her ankles. <laughs> Dude, this is so... Uh... <laughs> Just win with fucking ankle grabs, man. I'm kicking her in the face. That's how it should be. She's not too bad. I would still rather stick with just Shujinko, but um, at least we have a range attack. A couple, actually, not too bad range attacks. So we have the, the star thing that we shoot out of our mouth, and we have the uh, ankle grab. So really, we have like a ranged high attack and a ranged low attack, because I'm assuming the ankle grab counts as a low attack. The outside of my disc must be a little bit more. Well, actually, I don't know if this is on the outside or the inside. Because not all games progressively go, like, farther out as you go through the game. Some do go, like, the other way around. Um, more often, what they do is they'll pad the inside of the disc. And then, like, say the game's actually only 2 gigs. Well, a DVD holds 4.5. So they'll pad the, the inside with like two gigs of stuff and then and have the data on the outside rim because it loads faster technically off the outside edge. Shao Kahn seeks a powerful item, one that has been kept hidden in Adinia since before our recorded history. It must never fall into the hands of the Emperor of Outworld. Take this Kami Dogu and return it to the Elder. Hey, we got they the Kami Dogu. Let's do. go. I will take it to them immediately. What will you do now, Your Highness? Kitana and I will continue the fight to free Adinia from the tyranny of Shao Kahn. His men will be searching for me here, but he has no knowledge of you. You have a chance to escape if you leave now. Yes, your highness. Good luck to you. I'm assuming you're working today, Nate. <laughs> Based off your uh, <laughs> your message there. You have found the last of the Kamidoru. Yes, Tamashi. I was on my way to the Nexus to place it upon the altar. Because you have recovered all the Kami Doru, I will receive a physical body and will be free to dwell in the physical world. My rebirth is to take place soon in our world. 
That is wonderful news. Congratulations, Damashi. Hurry, take the Adivian Kamidobo to the Nexus. I will meet you there. It will be good to finally bring this quest to an end. So he is the Dragon Lord dude. I'm assuming at least. Because we know that it's our fault he comes back. And he literally just said by us putting the last Kamidogu on the Nexus, he will come back to life. Well, like, come get his physical form back. So, that's very blue. Thank you for the save. Let's go. Hey, I'm worried about whatever this last fight. I'm, if he's coming back to life, and he is the Dragon Dune, are we going to be, like, fighting him right away? Is this the end of the game? <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to find out. Like, are we already at the end? I don't, can we just not place the, nope, looks like we don't have a choice. <laughs> like, can we just leave, not years, put the altar, or the Kamidogu on the altar? The last of the Kamidogu. My quest is almost at an end. What is ending is your meddling in the affairs of the Elder Gods, mortal. Scorpion! Yes, and I remember you as well. We met in the Nether Realm. I taught you my fighting skills. Now I will give you your final lesson. Fight! Why? Why? <laughs> like, why did he come to fight us? Was he sent here by someone? D did we do something to him to piss him off? I mean, like he said, I remember we met in the Nether Realm all that time ago, but... I still don't know why he's angry with us all of a sudden. God, please tell me the game's not going to freeze. Okay. It's loading. It's getting there. Good old dick-based media. Disc-based media, man. Defeat Scorpion to complete your quest. As ourselves, with no music. There it goes. Round one. The round just started, guys. The game is definitely struggling to load. We might end up needing to give it a clean or something. Damn, dude. Damn! You got us, dude. I hate how he's like staying at such a range, man. We don't have any ranges, Shujinko. How did that miss? Nice. I mean, fair. He got us. He outclassed us. Hardcore. Wait, what? Round three? Is it because the game's having, sh like, struggling to load? I mean, not that it matters. We lost again, but like. Okay. So, best of three. 
Or first of three. That's fine. Use up your breakers. God, how did he guard so quickly? No, we're alive. There's the death. Round two. And the music's gone again. Excellent. That's just an infinite juggle. I'm down to about half. I mean, that's something. Round three. Fight. <laughs> Good, dude. God, I'm, <laughs> I might get up and uh, fix the disc anyways, just because even though we're in the fight, it's just annoying the shit out of me. <laughs> the way the music and stuff keeps disappearing. After we lose this time, the three fights, because let's be honest, we're going to lose the three fights. He might get a flawless victory on us. <laughs> Holy shit. Yep. Yeah. Oh no, we we technically took just a just a couple decimal points of damage off of a health off of him rather. I, I was trying to grab him, my guy. We're just gonna try the button mash method now, cause like. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> He's kicking our ass whenever we're actually trying, so button mashing is apparently where it's at. Let's go. <laughs> Nope. Nope. I mean, look, technically, that's not the worst we've done. <laughs> but I don't think button mashing is actually gonna get us anywhere. Uh, we're gonna go to the please wait screen for just a moment though, because yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get up, give the disc a good clean, and pop it back in, because yeah, this is this isn't loading too well. Is what's the PP on that? It's got it's got okay, it's middle of the road. It's a middle of the road PP, you know? It's not the biggest PP available, but it's not the smallest PP out there either. So like, okay. It's kind of weird racing a hybrid. It just feels weird for some reason, but like, so that's what you want? You want us to go with that, Nate? You chose it. Yes, until you can get a Civic. I, I, well, I mean, you only paid once, so. <laughs> I wonder if a Civic is uh, available at all. Nate and his Civics, yeah, right? Got the Honda Integra, we can't afford it, but 
there any other doesn't look like the car lot has any other uh, hondas available at the moment ah uh, dude we can do wish lists aspiration <laughs> naturally aspirated what what does that mean i'm not that big of a car person uh front front road card hybrid car whatever fuck it purchase let's go boys this is our car you actually kind of want to fit what's it's a gas mileage do you know just like irl just out of cur curiosity like that's how it gets its air i guess that kind of makes sense when you buy a car, you gain collector points in accordance with its price or value. The more collector points you have, the higher your collector level will be. This collector level reflects your rank as a car collector. So buy lots of cars and raise your collector level. Picked out our first car. Congrats. Stream, this will be your first car. Once you leave here, I recommend going to your garage and checking out your car. Q, 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 Q. We can do that. So basically, it has no EC. Now, I think, he, I think uh, Nate means like how it gets its air for uh, like cooling the engine and whatnot go to the garage we can do that it's the garage place your car stores your car collection this is your home base when you need where you can switch cars change settings or just take time to admire your collection you can also turn in tickets you want to race this year and receive bonus items as well once you've checked everything out let's head to the cafe next what kind of gifts do i got oh there there's my million credits dope Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so there we go. Receive this gift. Yes. So there we go. We got a million bucks to buy whatever the fuck we want now, basically. <laughs> and this game here, if I remember correctly, starts with... Okay, there it is. 424, it says up in the corner. Um, so there's 424 right now, but there may be more in the future. Uh, some Gran Turismo games, if I remember correctly, have had like a thousand or something close to that. So I don't know if there's going to end up being that many in this one or not, but yeah. It's kind of insane, man. Uh, yep, so we can change all the settings in our car. You can save them under different sheets, so you can change, like, per race or whatever. Uh, you can also do... All right, here we go. Let's see. Hopefully, it loads a little bit better this time. Neloped, what's up, my guy? Playing games and things? Good things? Yeah, it's been pretty fun so far. It's not without its problems, but it's been pretty fun so far. It doesn't help that I suck at Mortal Kombat games. I'm really not good at them, like, at all, so. That doesn't help anything. You're working at something that's annoyed you at each school. That part around where you flush it takes, like, no time. And there's not all kinds of buildup. Very true, my guy. I mean, I did janitorial work for... Okay, there we go. It loaded. I was scared there for a second. Um, but yeah, I did janitorial work for years, so I 100% understand. GT Sport was basically GT7 Prologue, wasn't it? I want to say yes, but I don't remember with, like, any real certainty, my guy. <laughs> I, uh, oh shit, no, wait, first we go to options, the video, wait for it to load. Progressive on, that should, yeah. Oh, shoot, no. Yes. Turn that back on. Now we can load our profile and get back into the game. Hopefully with quicker loading times. Profile code, a bunch of ups, and conquest. Conquest. So that we can get our ass kicked by Scorpion for... A long time. <laughs> That's man, is he kicking our ass? It's a, uh, it's a tough fight. Okay, well, we definitely loaded into this world quicker. That's a good sign. Let's see if we load into this fight. Years, I have finally found the last of the Kamidogo. My quest. No skipping the cutscene. It seems end. like so. What is ending is your meddling in the affairs of the Elder Gods, mortal Scorpion. Yes, and I remember you as well. We met in the Nether Realm. I taught you my fighting skills. Now I will give you your final lesson. Fight! Let's go. 
and you don't even know why he's mad for real though like ex exactly man <laughs> like the only thing i can think is maybe like because i don't think we're actually working for the elder gods right i think damashi is either the like dragon god or emperor or whatever the hell he was and uh he's just tricking us into thinking we're working for the elder gods so maybe the out the actual elder god sent scorpion to stop us maybe like but I don't, I don't really know what the hell is going on. Why he's so angry with this? Got yourself a Game Boy yesterday, or rather a Game Space Boy. <laughs> Have to restore it quite a bit. Excited to do something like this for the first time. Hell yeah, dude! That's awesome. I've never done any work on the actual Game Boy before, but uh, but I've watched a bunch of videos of people doing stuff with the Game Boy. And uh, it seems like a pretty cool console to to mod, and relatively easy for restoration. You just got to be careful, with, like with the uh, the cables that connect the the screen and stuff, because they use like these little tiny ribbon cables to connect everything together. And you can get replacements, of course, but then it's a whole pain in the ass. Nope. Bear. Bear. You've only hacked a model console so far. Hardware's, hardware's kind of scary. I've, uh... I've done actual consoles and the PSP before, hardware-wise. But I've never done any other mobile besides the PSP. So that's still relatively new to me. Like, the Game Boy side of stuff. I have a Game Boy Color that I plan on doing the backlight mod on at some point. Not that I need to, because I'm getting a uh, analog pocket, but just because I want to, because I think it would be cool to have a backlit Game Boy Color. Um, tiny little hook to the midsection is all it uh, takes. Man, you only did soft modding so far? Yeah, 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 I knew what you meant. And that's what I, I would say. I, I've done soft modding, but I've also done hard mods on a hard, handful of consoles and on the PSP, but never on any uh, handhelds besides the PSP. <laughs> the analog pocket may come by 2025. I mean, according to them, it'll come sometime this year. They're just not willing to say when this year. This dude has, like... Unreal... Fucking... Jesus! Sadly, basically anything made by Analog. Amazing products, terrible company. As far as that stuff goes, man. They know their stuff is super super popular and that more people want them, but they just make such small batches Round of the shit. One. Um Fight. and then discontinue products that people want. You're a mister kind of guy? I want a mister. Just because I do think having a mister would be cool. But uh, I'm a huge fan of playing off of real media. And I haven't looked into it. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody has made a project that lets you play real cartridges on the, on the uh, mister. Ah, you bastard. Out of the box, it doesn't support that, of course. I mean, the, the mister in general isn't doesn't support much out of the box. <laughs> you gotta, <laughs> you've really got to set it up. Um, but I've done, like, a lot of Raspberry Pis for emulation and stuff. I'm into that sort of thing, like... But, yeah, if, if I want... If I'm going to go as far as to do FPGA emulation, I want it to be able to play on real, real cartridges or discs or whatever. And then the portability of the analog pocket is also a huge, a huge bonus. Scorpion. 
This dude is just better than us in every way. Round three. Fight. <laughs> Damn, dude. I'm hoping this is the final fight <laughs> of the game. I don't know if it is or not. Uh, who is the final boss Mortal Kombat Deception? Uh, conquest mode? Conquest. Uh, da -da -da -da. I, I know who the... It's telling me who the, like, who the story... Uh, I don't know. I could have swore Rue in them. Spoilers, yo. I'm just curious who the final boss is. <laughs> I don't think that's really much of a spoiler. We know the cast of the game. We just don't know who it's going to be. I wasn't able to find it for sure anyways. Rue and them said that it started with an S at one point. It's Jax. <laughs> it was Jax all along. Um, or at least I could have swore they said it started with an S. Hence why I was hoping that it was Scorpion. Because holy shit are we struggling here. But the internet was not helping anyways. It was just telling us like this is the central uh, antagonist of Mortal Kombat Conquest mode. And it's like, well, that's... I know that already. Do we have low attack combos? Because he seems to guard low a lot less. It's actually Yoda. Not even Yoda. It's baby Yoda, man. Fucking Grogu. Okay, so our low attacks are down square... Down triangle, I'm assuming. Forceful ball kick. Dude, we've been doing the wrong thing the whole time. Okay, so down circle, down square. Do we have any combos that start with that? No, we do not. What's the forceful ball kick? Up and X. That's all we need. <laughs> this is how we're going to win the game. I hate that grabs seem to go through guards. Why was I not blocking? I was holding R2, man. Damn. <laughs> Ball kick did not take us to victory. Wrong fighting game, but Soul Calibur 4 had Yoda and Darth Vader. Wasn't it Soul Calibur 4 that also had, like, Link if you bought it on the GameCube? And then if you bought it on the PlayStation... Was the PlayStation version the one that had Yoda and Darth Vader, or...? I have no breaks left. There's one. One win. Analog is doing top-down implementations of the hardware and FPGA, according to the head of the project. Yeah, I mean, I know they themselves are trying to create, basically recreate the entirety of, like, the Game Boy, NES, whatever, in FPGA, right? Um, but the cool thing about the Pocket, the Pocket is the first one that they officially allow you to sideload um, other cores the same way that you can Mr. into, which is really cool. Um, so you can get the quote-unquote recreations of the hardware 
done in FPGA that Analog provide, but if you want to just play like an SNES core, an NES core or something like that, you can sideload one of those onto it. And some of the Mr. Cores have been ported over and whatnot, which is pretty cool. Um, and again, it's portable, which is really neat. I also bought the dock so that I can hook it up to the TV if I wanted to, like. Round four. Link was the special character in the Xbox where I thought so, but uh, my memory's piss poor, so I wasn't sure. And it's too bad we're already two losses to one win, because I don't think there's any way we're winning this one now. Why does it, like, take us a minute to guard? Like, we have a big... Uh, there's there's a there's some lag <laughs> in between pressing the button i think it has something to do with guarding after attacking but it seems awfully long man His fucking fire attack, man. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. See, like, right there, I was holding the guard button. It just didn't guard. I did not mean to jump there. Jumping just seems like a death sentence. He's not really doing that many low attacks. That's why I haven't been low guarding or low block much. Because most of his attacks seem to be high. It's just like, it just legit takes us a second to get into a block after we attack. If I was in like... See, like, now we, we block pretty much instantly, but if I attack and then I was holding, as soon as I let go of X, like, X and now I'm blocking, but it didn't go into a block. There's there's a little bit of a lag there, but all of those attacks are all high attacks. They're not low attacks. Now, I wonder, though, like, if we... I'm just trying to test now. Hold on. Back up for a second. So, if we... I want to see if we attack and then go into a low block. I wonder if that'll, like speed up the weight that we have to do or something to get into a block. See, we're not... It doesn't seem like we can. Weird. Okay, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it just ignores the button or something. So hold on, I'm still just in testing mode. I want to do an attack and then instead of holding R2 to, to block, I want to try like tapping it a few times. Cause I wonder if it's just like, no, doesn't seem to speed it up. Hmm. I mean, that is true. I wonder, maybe was that faster? Ah. Uh... It's hard to tell against Scorpion here, but I can't actually tell legitimately. I love how that's the best we've done, and I was just trying to test blocks. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I can't tell, honestly, if there's a different 
uh, frame advantage or penalty to the moves as far as like moving into block. There's a pretty decent pause either way, that's all I know. like it might be a tiny bit quicker with the with the punch i think it is not by a whole lot of frames but i do think it's quicker to block after punching than it is kicking at least with the the ball kick and basic combo that i was doing round one fight <laughs> See how long that took to block? It's crazy, man. And we still have no ranged attacks with, with Shujinko at all, sadly. I mean, we can play with like the 3D aspect and try to, it's like you can try to sidestep to dodge too, but. But it doesn't seem as reliable. And of course, when you're blocking, you're locked to well, just anything. You can't do anything when you're blocking. Damn. One low kick. I mean, that was... He played smart on that one. Round two. Fight. Ah, oh, damn. This combo went a lot longer there than I thought it was going to. He has no brakes left, which is nice, I guess. I shouldn't have broke it. I should have just let it go through. I'm dead anyways. Like, yeah. I think I need to learn at least like one or two more like longer combos. Even if they're not super long, just so we can get a little bit more damage on him whenever we do hit him. I wonder if that actually stuns. It's called stunning fray. Square square up X. Let's try it. Three. Fight. <laughs> I didn't up X that time. Damn, man. Why did that not block? Okay, now he's going for the lows. I don't know if the AI actually learns by your actions or not, but he's definitely doing a lot more low hits now. Round one. I just want to know if this square square up X actually does anything. I think it's just the just the basic like punch punch and then kick him in the nuts. This fight may just come down to luck for us, my guy. As sad as that is. Fair. I mean, I can't even be mad. Round three. Fight. Cause like, unlike some some of the older Mortal Kombat games, did literally cheat. 
I, I'm, I don't think this one is. I think, well, I don't know. It's really good at switching them blocks, man. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. I feel like we're getting decent at fighting like with high attacks, but uh we need to get a little bit better at at, at, at focusing on his low cuz he also blocks high a lot. Down triangle after you block his teleport. Okay. What's down triangle? Which one's that? Is that does that get us into a juggle? Manta cut. I don't know what that one does. The teleport down triangle. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is a uh, uppercut. So we can try to get him into a juggle. I wonder, can we put that into a combo? Just in general, like... It's not a very close uppercut, though, is it? It kind of pushes him back a bit, too. Round two. Fight. Up jungle's better for trying... Yeah, I think, I think you're right about... Ah, oh, damn, dude. If we can block anything. <laughs> no, not up triangle. Up triangle's not an uppercut. It must be... Nope. Damn it. No, 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 no. Oh, that was so close. I was trying to low attack him, but my fingers fucked up. <laughs> I hate that blocks go through. Or, not blocks. That grabs go through blocks. Yeah, and every character seems to have one of those. Like, I'm sure Shujinko here can do that. Just with him, it's not a... Uh, it's not a... What do they call it? A pop-up attack or whatever they call it in this game? I think it's... What was it? Was it up in square? Yeah, I think it's up the ball kick, actually. <laughs> No, that one's pops back too, huh? Oh, you know what? I bet it's that one. Back and triangle. Yeah. It's back and triangle. So when he teleports back triangle and then we can try to juggle a little bit. Can you change stance? Yes. Yes, I can. It's just... I struggle so much to learn one stance that, <laughs> that I'm iffy about it. Because <laughs> the, the the stance changes change all of the combos and stuff too. Like, it does make the, the pop-up a lot easier there. Because it's just forward square. But I don't know, like, any of the combos for this one either. The other does have bad range, but sadly, this one doesn't have any range attacks either. If we go to, I mean, he probably has some like medium range, medium close range, but the only special move that Shujinko has is knee popper. We have no real ranged attacks, sadly. 
Um, so I'm sure some of these moves are probably medium range. See, no combos at all with our sword. Besides the double throat cut. That's the only combo. <laughs> the Shaolin Fist, which we're in now, does have some combos. Square, square, circle... Or square, circle, circle, X. We'll try that one out. I fucked it up. Round two. Fight. Breakers. That was a perfect opening. I fucked up. <laughs> I don't think I never got the actual X into the combo there, but I don't think that one's got any range to it either. Yeah, no. No range there either. Cement blaster, jackhammer, turning kick, low steel foot, ball toe strike. Is that just kick to the nuts? I feel like that's just another name for kick to the nuts. Stop burning me! Seems like a low guard doesn't block that flame, sadly. The only thing I like about Shaolin Fist compared to Mantis is how easy pop-up attacks are. With just forward X, like, or forward square. Apparently, it's self-immolation. Wait, is that the name of a move, or...? <laughs> In this game, man, I don't know. I mean, there's these crazy combos, which would probably do something cool, but... Fuck me, no. <laughs> That's when you catch yourself on fire. Oh! Okay. Fight! I was trying to duck down, not freaking spin around, dude. Just kind of let him. That last hit does, like, no damage. It's the first three hits that do all the damage anyway, so whenever he grabs me, I should just let him finish his combo. And save the breakers for, like, whenever... He's actually doing normal combos. Damn. What was the, the pop-up back triangle? I think it was. Of course, we got to get three wins, which makes it a lot harder for luck to just let us win. Mistimed it. Damn it, dude. <laughs> A little too early with the, the follow up there. Damn. If that would have hit, we would have had a chance. Tiny bit too far away. Block, please. <laughs> Fair. That's what the breakers are for, after all. Hey. 
That was terrible. That o I should have made better use of that opening. Go ahead. Oh, damn it. He's got three full screen moves. I, it's crazy, ain't it? <laughs> like, wait, what's the? Does the fire count as a full screen move too? Because I know the teleport, the 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 chain or the rope or whatever you want to call it, of course. But can't i can't be mad <laughs> holy shit dude it's fine hey we got two hours to <laughs> for luck to kick in how does he switch like he can switch to blocking instantly that is legitimately one way i think the ai might be cheating they can go straight from attacking to blocking you cannot as a player Maybe not instantly, but at least very quick. Much quicker than I can. <laughs> Fucking fire. I almost wonder if... I could have swore I was blocking. Maybe I was blocking low. Damn. La damn, dude. <laughs> this is why I was hoping there would be RPG mechanics in this game. Because at this point in any other game, I would just be going and grinding somewhere for a little bit. Like, just let that, let that take place. Yeah. That's fine. What was the the ball kick? Was it up and yeah, up and X? So up and X, X is a, a pop up that pushes back, back and triangle is a pop up that we can juggle. Square, square, basically anything is a combo, a simple combo. And it looks like you can do three pop ups in a row before. Before it forces them out of it. I should have done the back triangle there. <laughs> it's so cheap. I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah, no, I don't benefit from the pushback at all, to be honest with you. All right, 1-1. One, one. That was a close one, but 1-1. One, one. Just got to do that two more times without dying. Twice. He's almost out of breakers, which... I shouldn't have broke that one, honestly. As long as he doesn't get savvy to the fact that I'm trying to pop him up and beat him, I think that's probably our best bet. Wait, no, wrong move. Oh, that was so... I could have had him right there. I can't see, I can't see. Okay, he's out of breakers. <laughs> Fucking dick. <laughs> Round 
too far away from him. Too early on the, the follow-up attacks. There we go. Damn, dude. Nice! 2-2. Two, two. That was too close. I am sweating balls right now. Oh, here we go. My heart's starting to race. This is not this is not starting well for us. This is really not starting well. Oh fuck. Too early on the Ugh. I was hoping I could break out of it before he won. We have a strategy that seems to at least be working, though. Again, as long as their AI doesn't actually adapt. I have no idea how the AI works in this game. Oh, boy. Okay, pop up, follow up. That's pretty much it. That's, that's the whole strategy. <laughs> Occasional low attacks, because he tends to block high a lot. I did not mean to break that attack, but... Let it go. Let it go. Don't waste the brakes on that. Use the brakes whenever he's juggling us. Nope. Too early again on the... There we go. I could have had him right there. Nah! Bro, well, that's fine. It's just 1-1. One, one. It's first to three. We still in it. Round two. Fight. I didn't realize how... Oh, okay, no. The counter up top, the timer said 40. I was like, holy shit, did we really only have 40 seconds? Yeah, use all your breakers up. Does he have a defensive stance or... No, oh, that was dumb. Square. Damn. Round three. Fight. It's fine, we just gotta win three times in a row now. Well, I had a little bit of hope, man, after the last time, but <laughs> that hope is quickly fading, <laughs> right? <laughs> Get a grab on him every once in a while too. The grab also acts as a pop-up. I'm not sure if the grab is as easy to get as 
the back triangle though. Nice little shin kick to kill someone. I like it. I like it. Round two. Fight. Oh, there's nothing you can do when they pull out the break. Gonna go crazy. Just just kill. Just let it go. Just let this be the end. Thank you. The worst part of all of this is this might not be the last fight. I don't actually know. <laughs> like, Damn, dude. <laughs> Well, then. We were so close that one time, dude. <laughs> we, we just need to roll back the clock a little bit. Try that again. Why? He's so hard to find an opening in, like... I feel like maybe I should be circling a little bit more. He get to the block so quick. I try to pop him up again, but that was a no. Yeah, they're they're not very good, honestly. But like, you seem to get a damage multiplier for for combos and things. So, like, as part of the pop up, it's not too bad. Damn you. There's one one. Round three. Fight. It's not what I meant to do, anyways. Bro, come on. <laughs> Too early. Shit. Nope, I'm dead. Yep, I saw that one coming. As soon as the attack didn't land, I knew I was done for. Round four. Fight. I'm not trying to duck, I'm trying to circle. Fucking 
breakers, dude. Yeah, I got him too. I'm out of him, sadly. He still has one left. <laughs> We're dead. Can it just be like three total wins? <laughs> like, not in a row so much. <laughs> just... I'd rather him have to win three times and we only have to win one. That seems fair, right? I was hoping I could get him as he can, as he stands up, but I think he can go straight into a block after standing up anyways. So it probably doesn't matter. I was hoping to get in there from the the penalty for the flame attack there. Round two. Fight. Bro, we were like beside you. How did you even grab us? Oh shit, that was an opening. That was a good opening too. The teleport confuses me because I tried to do back triangle but then he gets on the other side of me. Just need to figure out the cheese. There's got to be some kind of cheese, man. <laughs> we can we can just figure out uh, how to like goad himself into making an opening up, like being vulnerable. We just need to teach Scorpion to be more vulnerable, man. That's what it comes down to. His fighting style seems to change so much, though. Which makes me want to believe that he does, like... Adjust on the fly based on how you're fighting. In old Mortal Kombat, it was always jumpy kicks. I think we have a jumpy kick. I think one of our moves is a jumpy kick. Break. Surprised he didn't kill us there. Just jump toward and kick during landing. Okay. We shall try. What's our what's our kick? <laughs> well. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> this actually fucking works. God, our jump kick has no fucking range either, man. We are truly a close range character. That worked better than it should have. That's a punch. Jump dodge is hellfire too. Oh, is it just a... Like, even though it extends all the way up, it doesn't actually hit you when you're up top? I gotta adjust myself, my sitting position. We might be here for a minute. <laughs>
Are you sure you can low block it? Because I could have swore it hit me a couple times while I was low blocking. But maybe like the low block didn't lock in yet or something because I was transitioning. Either in or out. That's a possibility. Fight. Oh, that wasn't. Well, jumpy kicks were working for a moment. Not so much now. Fight. Oh shit. I had ample time to block that. Kick a frame or two later, okay. That was way too early again. Oh, you can kick backwards? I like kicked him while he's behind me. That was fun. Round three. Fight. I mean, I'm not sure, but I feel like that's giving him more time to hit me while I'm in the air. Yeah, so I think if anything, maybe too slow. Yeah, 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 exactly. I really can't help but wonder, though, if the AI does learn based off of what you do. Because of how well the jumpy kicks work the first time, and now the fact that they're, like, struggling to connect. I wonder if you really need to, like, switch it up a little bit. And since we've been doing jumpy kicks, what if we try to go back to... Staying close and doing the, uh, the pop-ups. I feel like we're giving... I mean, that's that's a real possibility. But, like, on the, uh, like, old Mortal Kombat... Was it Mortal Kombat 2 or 3? I don't remember which one. Where they would legit just cheat and just read your inputs. Um, like, unhumanly fast. Like, they could react quicker than any human ever possibly could to things. So, like, while an adaptive AI might be a little bit too much for the PS2, it's, uh, they definitely like to figure out ways to, to cheat. Hey, Mr. Noodle. I hope you like watching me fight Scorpion, because <laughs> that's what we've been doing literally all day. Well, that's not quite true. We've only been doing it for about an hour and a half now. <laughs> Jump backwards without attack. Does he fall in the air? Well, if I get off the wall, maybe. Ooh, maybe we can exploit that. Question is, can we get back close enough? To do anything. If we're too close, he just hits us in the air. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we might be able to exploit it. Round one. Fight. Maybe not. So he seems super inconsistent, man. And there was an opening there, but. Oh, 
I think that flame attack can hit us in the air, by the way. <laughs> yeah, not... Sadly, it's not a, a foolproof option. Not finishing the game today. Uh, I mean, we're gonna try. There's a small possibility this is the last boss of the game. Or last fight of the game. I wish I could figure out how to goad him into the teleport there. The dot dot dots don't make me feel good, Chocobo. <laughs> Because, like, if we could goad him into the teleports, he's always open for a moment after that. You back down to 244? Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Are you legit? Are you, like, actually trying to lose weight, or is it just, like, just happen to have lost some and happy about it? I mean, both are legit, but, like... I wish my attacks had just a little bit more range, dude. One to two. <laughs> we just gotta win the next two fights without dying. Should be easy, right? Kinda liked being against the wall. Will he come against the wall with me, though? How? What? He was in the middle of an attack. That should not have missed. Just kick him in the shin. Kick him in the shin. Kick him in the shin. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Okay. That was scary. <laughs> Change your diet forever ago? Nice, dude. I wasn't even aware, man. But that's awesome, honestly. Oh, dude, come on, don't. don't be like this, my guy. Damn, dude. The fucking fire! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I still think the pop-ups are our best are our best bet. That's gotten us the best wins by by a, a mile. Well, yeah, that's honestly what I think it comes down to is just, except for the beginning of the game, we have no practice with Shujinko at all, right? Like, we had the beginning of the game, and then, like, one fight before this. And then the rest of the game, we've been fighting against random people. If nothing else, I think the wall helps us stay close. It's just a matter of getting him to stay over here. That was a close one, at least. Round two. Fight. Oh, you completely stopped drinking sugar? I mean, that's always one of the big things, man. He broke it. I was, I was about to be pissed. Like, how did he block that shit? Hey, 
How does he block so quick after attacking? I wonder if Shujinko is just made to be shit. Like, if he just purposefully has, like, a huge penalty after attacking to block and all that shit. See, the other reason why I think the wall kind of helps, too, is because when we're up against the wall, he can't push us back as much. A lot of his attacks have some knockback, which makes sense with how ranged he seems to be. Because even when we're blo blocking, we still get hit with knockback. Just don't do flames. Round four, fight! <laughs> The only problem with the wall is it, it's harder to hit him with the uh, with the follow-ups <laughs> to the pop-up because he seems to rise higher. Oh, you bastard. Come on, follow me. No, follow me. Maybe I'm just doing the, the follow-ups too early. Damn, dude. Too early. We're dead. We were out of uh, breaks. I think getting up against the wall, though, I think that's a legit strat. I think that's a, a decent way to do it. Just back up. Come on, you have to come over. I'm not gonna fight you over there. Not breaking that. Get over here. How about that? Oh, damn. That's my bad. I accidentally let go block. Okay. I mean, hey, we got him close. That's only one loss. Round two. Fight. What's causing him to grab more now? Try putting it. See, I like being against the wall because his attacks knock us back, which makes it harder to hit him because we have no range. So I prefer being against the wall because we can get more pop ups on him more easily. I. <laughs> I don't actually know how that win happened right there, but... Oh, we were too far away. He's out of breakers. That's good for us. I am not out of breakers. Now come over here. That was the wrong. Oh, 
Damn it, dude. Damn. Come on. We just got to get him up one more time. I, he must have got behind us. That's annoying. I was really hoping to have one extra thing we to play around with. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. We need that encouragement. Bro, why can't I hit him all of a sudden? Jesus. You got this, BB? I don't think I got this this time. Maybe, maybe next round, man. <laughs> We were lucky that last one didn't hit. Oh, all right. Round one. I seriously Fight. hope, though. Thank you for the four bitch, Chocobo. I seriously hope that if this isn't the last boss, at the very least, we uh, continue to play as Shujinko. All of your breakers already. Oh no, you still got one left, but hey. Round two. Fight. There we go, that's the last of his breakers. Stop with the flames. God damn. One one. Round three. Fight. Damn you. Damn you again. Seriously? Why all the fire all of a sudden? Dude! <laughs> Why are you fighting so different all of a sudden? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. So far, the only part of the AI I've been able to figure out at all is backwards jumping makes him do that weird fire kick attack sometimes. That one. Ah, oh, damn it. Wrong direction. Get in here. How do grabs work on him? It, it counts as a pop-up, which is nice, but he blocks them consistently. Like, he's really good. Like, grabs seem to, to work through blocks, um, but he, he dodges them or hits me first or something almost every time. It's annoying as hell. Because we use that as cheese with another character at one point to win. Basically just doing grabs the whole time. And it worked relatively well. I don't think it's what ended up getting us the win. But it at least helped. There's one other thing I can do too, which... I haven't tried yet, which is moving my monitor over to uh, direct game capture instead of playing through OBS, which should give me a couple more frames of reaction time. If we lose this one again, I'm going to try that next. Probably same strategy that we're using, but mix that with the, the 
Yeah. We had a good strategy until it stopped working. the hands a little bit <laughs> Fight. just back up switch into the sword which he's too far away I shouldn't even try I'm scared to like, he leaves his, op his bottom open a lot, but I'm scared to try low kicks and stuff because it takes us so long to block after we do anything that if we're not doing a lot of damage, it's just not worth the risk. Are we not dead? Now we're dead. Okay. Switching. Oh, not volume. Source to HDMI. All right. Try again. Here we go. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Timings are going to be a little bit different for the for the landing after the pop-up. Not by much, though. Not that I land them all the time anyways, but... There's one! <laughs> One win, one nothing. Round two. Fight. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, he broke it. He broke it again, you bastard. so quickly. Oh, 
Oh, I was holding block, but I was in the air. Fair. Fair. Round four. Fight. doing it too early which i mean i expected to happen i already had a problem with that before lowering the lag i don't know for sure if it's helping or not but i'm gonna leave it on the this mode for a moment round one fight <laughs> I did not expect that to land. I was not prepared. You want to do the get over here thing more often while I'm like that close? That's by all means, man. That leaves you open for a good solid second or two. Sidestepping, what is this Tekken? He right. Also, welcome, welcome. I hope you like the scorpion fight, man. We've been <laughs> we've been stuck on it for a while. Every time we get a strategy that looks like it'll work, it works for like a round or two, and then we get fucked. Far away. Two nothing. Round three. Fight. Been at it for what, like two hours now, dude? We are getting closer, though. We're more consistently killing him. Which just really makes the performance early on sound bad, but... <laughs> I knew we were dead. Don't forget, you have a ride. Love you. Love you too, boo. Dude, just in time for the final battle. This is the bitch I hate. <laughs> Wait, is this actually the final fight? You're not just in time for it. You've had plenty of time, man. We've been here for about two hours now. I see, I 100% understand why you hate him so much. He is definitely a pain in the ass. Shujinko has no range moves. Whatever strategy I come up with seems to work for a moment or two and then just stops working on Scorpion for some reason. Like, we've been close a couple of times, like within a couple hits of winning a couple times. But he always pulls it out at the end. 
You've been shipping all day? What does... I'm assuming you meant shopping all day. Because otherwise, that's very confusing. <laughs> Fucking fire. Shopping, okay. <laughs> I assume that's what you meant. I have no idea how I hit him behind me, but... Ah, too far away. Someone might have had it worse. Someone else couldn't beat Onaga. Had a 40 lose streak. <laughs> See, are you sure this is the final fight of Conquest mode? Because I haven't fought Onaga. But that could just be... Onaga could just be the final fight of, like, the other mode or something. I feel like I'm probably... Close to a 40, 40 lose streak, honestly. We've been on it for like two hours with only one small break. Which honestly might be part of the problem. It might be time to like stand up, stretch my legs, get away from the game for a minute. I don't know about y'all, but for me, sometimes that's what it takes. We're going to do one more round, yeah. And then I think we're going to take a short break because I need to... Uh... Oh. <laughs> I think, I think getting up, stretching my legs, and just getting away from the game for a moment will be good. Not to mention turning on my AC because this stupid fight is literally making me sweat. See, the thing that really kills me, I've been saying it a lot, but since you guys have just gotten to the stream recently, anytime I attack, it takes a solid, like, second for me to be able to block. Sometimes longer, depending on the attack that we do. Whereas, like, Scorpion Man, he can go from an attack to, to a block almost instantly. And I don't know if that's just Shujinko as a character or if it's some sort of handicap they put in to make the game harder for for the player or what. But holy hell, does it definitely make it harder, man. He doesn't. Shujinko, like, we, we didn't time it, but we we spent a good few fights testing it. And Shujinko has a lot longer block time than than Scorpion does. Um, like it's it's terrible. Round <laughs> three. Like just to make it clear, every time after I attack, I go straight into blocking. Basically, is how I've been playing. So just look how long it takes. See, I was holding block that entire time, but it never happened. Wow, the break doesn't help anything. Like, you simply need to learn to play as Shu. Yeah, and well, I don't think Shu's necessarily bad, although he does lack range. Uh, I like that his combos and things are a lot simpler than a lot of other characters. I appreciate that as somebody that's not particularly good at Mortal Kombat games. But it definitely makes this fight a lot harder, man. Like, the only thing I've been able to find that semi-consistently works so far is uh, is this whole pop him up, do the three-hit jab on him, and repeat. Spend the entire game learning how to play as others, then it screws the seat, right? Yeah, there's that too. Shujinko can be a little rough to fight on, or fight as, but once you figure him out, he's actually pretty good. So, and I do like him compared to a lot of the other characters too. I just wish he had a little bit more range. 
and that he blocked quicker after after any sort of attack. Ah, oh, damn it! If I want to just kick him in the shin, just kick him in the shin. <laughs> Whew. Uh, maybe during the normal game, but here he does not. The only special move he has is knee popper, unless the other ones are like secret or something like that. And that's just a grab. You have to find them, really. Oh, well. <laughs> well, <laughs> that probably would make things easier, but I do not have them. So are they like hidden in chests or something like that? Because I, I admit, I stopped doing side quests when uh, it seemed like the side quest didn't give anything. Other than uh, coins or occasionally like character skins or something like that, but... Oh, they float around like the coins, okay. Yeah, that would definitely change things. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Stop with the fire, please. Come on, one more good combo. Suck it, bitch! <laughs> I'm so happy, man. It's finally over. That one, at least. Now to see. <laughs> oh. Now to see if that's the end or not. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm legit sweating so bad from that. That was like two, a little... Roughly two hours, maybe a little more. No, about two hours. The Kamidogu should have been transported to the Elder Gods. Why is it not happening? You might want to find some moves. Yeah, maybe. Because you have not completely finished the quest. Who? What are you? Ah, uh, yes. Familiar words. Perhaps this will help you to understand. I knew it, dude. What has he done to you? Let him go. Should Jinko... Please save me! <laughs> oh, you fool! Damashi does not exist. The avatar you see before you is merely a projection of my consciousness. I knew it, man. Damashi was too much of a dick to from beyond the boundaries of death. be a messenger of the gods or whatever. Manipulated you. I deceived you into bringing me the means of attaining ultimate mastery over reality. So it seems that I have indeed known you all these years. Then by what name shall I call you now? Tell me who you really are, demon. I am Onaga, the Dragon King of Outworld and soon to be ruler of all that exists. I must thank you for giving me so much power. The Kamidogu are mine. <laughs> you may have them. They do nothing. You have wasted your time. Nothing happened when I placed them all on the altar. Not all. If you had found the last piece, the altar would have transported them to the Elder Gods. But the last piece is currently in Outworld in the possession of a fool sorcerer. I will deal with him later. Is it Shao Kahn? For now, I will take these artifacts you have so dutifully collected for me. I am afraid they will not make it into the hands of the Elder Gods after all. And so, Shuchenko, your quest is done. Prepare for death. Then we run like a bitch. Quan Chi. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You gonna try the regular fighting part of this game? Uh, yeah, why not? We got a little bit of time left. I'm not gonna try... Like, I'm not gonna finish it, probably, unless we can do it in one sitting, but... Since we have, like, an hour left, might as well. I have been a fool. Blinded by the lure of adventure, I have endangered the realms and betrayed the Elder Gods. The blame is mine alone. What have I done? With this combat might, you can defeat the Dragon King. Are you sure about that? The Dragon King now possesses the six Kamidogu and has taken the ancient amulet from Quan Chi and Outworld. Although each item is... Oh, okay, so it does say Quan Chi. Individually, they contain only a fraction of the power needed to create the realms. To become all-powerful, 
Onaga must discover a way to fuse them into a single ultimate Kamidoru. I have been a pawn in Onaga's scheme to rule all. If I am to redeem myself, I must continue to learn all that I can and prepare for this final battle against the Dragon King. My journey is far from over. So, wait, is that the end of the game or not? <laughs> I guess it is. It seems like, I don't, the way they're talking about his journey not being over and uh, the beginning of the game, they show everyone fighting against Dragon Dude, whose name I've already forgotten. Um, Onaga. Like, it makes it seem like you're gonna, you're gonna fight the guy, but no, I guess that's it. Congratulations on finishing the storyline. Onaga, yeah, yeah. I remembered it just took me a minute anyways why the uh while the credits roll here i am going to take a short break uh because your boy's legs be worn the hell out um and then uh we'll come back and yeah probably play a little bit of the regular game we'll roll for what the next game is going to be first just so we can have that out of the way before it gets too late actually why don't we just go ahead and do that now Ah, uh, no, I like to let the credits play. These guys deserve recognition. So I'm going to take my break, and then we'll roll for what game we're going to play. Either way, though, I'll be back in a couple of minutes, my guys. Or like, like, inform. Guess I should probably leave this screen up if I want the credits to roll, huh?
All right. Hopefully there wasn't any uh, like cutscenes after the credits there or anything, because if so, we missed them. Oh man, Correction, it's Armageddon. Same, though yours is from practicing driving. Called all Tommy Doggos. <laughs> Armageddon is a good one too. Is Armageddon the one that we haven't played yet? Or the one that we still need to, or that we have played a bit of? We haven't finished it, but there was one that we played Without that we started and didn't finish. It is, right here, I can go ahead and... evil the chance it needed. Oh, shit, that's right. I have my monitor turned off. Uh, let's go back. There we go. There we go. Uh, so Mortal Kombat. First off, Deception is finished. So we can mark that. Shallon Monks is the other one we played. So Armageddon's the one that we haven't played at all yet. We do have it though, right? No, we have Deadly Alliance is the other one. So we're still missing Armageddon. We need to pick that one up. We actually like the chess combat in this game. It wasn't so slow. I Did we end up trying it? There you go. I'll mute the game audio. I don't remember if we ended up trying the chess combat mode or not. We might have. I don't know. I like regular chess, but... uh. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure we did, right? Because if you, like, you go into to a fight each time two of the pieces come up against each other, right? You did around it. Okay, yeah, I thought I thought so, but I couldn't remember for sure. It was, it's been a little while since we just tried the game out um, until now, whenever we got around to finishing it. All right, let's, uh, let's get our votes added on real quick, because there are a few of them. We have... For the games to complete, because that's what we're going to be rolling on next. We got one for Final Fantasy X. Probably more than one, to be honest, but at least one. That's for Juiced, but that's not to complete. Summoner 2 is not to complete. Resident Evil 4, that's a to complete game. Uh, Resident Evil 4. I'm going to put my weekly vote on there that I take as well, just because I want to play the other Re Resident Evil games soon. Uh... Dragon Quest, God of War, Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest, God of War, we got Spongebob, I don't know which Spongebob game that is, because didn't we put, didn't we put Spongebob on the list of games to complete too? No, maybe we didn't. Oh yeah, no, we did. So I don't know for sure which one. I think Noodle's been voting on... The Spongebob that we haven't played yet, though. So it's probably for that one. And I think that's it. Nate just threw another one on for Resident Evil 4. I'll throw that on. Resident Evil 4. Take it up to 5. Oh, let's roll to figure out what the hell we're actually playing. For anyone who hasn't seen before, the first one never counts. We always use it as an example. I just click this little pick a number button up here. A random number appears in a moment. Uh, There we go. <laughs> a random number appears over here. That corresponds with one of the games on this list. In this case, that was Dragon Quest VIII. So if the first one had counted, we would be playing Dragon Quest VIII. As I said, though, the first one never counts. So we're going to turn that off. The random number will disappear. And then we'll click it again for a new one. Whichever one it lands on is what we'll be trying to complete on Wednesdays from now on. Until it is done. It is... Still don't have a drum roll sound effect. One of these days, man. <laughs> One of these days. Number 468, Metal Gear Solid 3. Finally bringing the trilogy for PS2 to a close. Driven almost entirely by Mr. Chocobo himself. Mr. Not Mr. Chocobo. Metal Gear Solid 3. So this is next to finish. So starting next Wednesday, that's what we'll be playing for roughly, no, oh, that's not that long even, roughly 17 hours. I'm bad at video games, so probably 18 or 19, but <laughs> no, that should be fun. I really had a ton of fun with Resident Evil 1, 2, uh, well, I 
the NES one, which I played off stream, and then Metal Gear Solid one and two. So I think uh I think this will be a ton of fun. Three from what I played of it was my least favorite, <laughs> probably. But just from what I played of it, I imagine it probably gets better um as it expands. Cause the whole the whole forest gameplay, I just I just sucked at it. <laughs> Not that I was particularly good at either of the other ones either. But yeah. Alright, so that's what we'll be playing next Wednesday. Since we still have about 45 minutes left tonight, we might as well, as was suggested, switch back to the game, unmute the game, and play the regular mode a little bit. Press start button. Oh, I also, I brought a banana up that I'm going to eat here real quick. That's why I, uh, <laughs> that's why the camera's still off. Because I want to eat my banana. Oh, Chocobo, you'll also be happy to know my copy of uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance came in. I don't want to play Tactics Advance until we play through Tactics, though. Um, so I think Final Fantasy Tactics is already on the list. Yeah, okay. Tactics and Tactics Advanced are both already on the list of games to complete. Um, but we won't be enabling Advanced until the regular one's complete. So, yeah. Just, you know. Want to play them in order, of course. Even though I'm pretty sure most people like Advanced better, right? Than Advanced. Plus, I have a little bit of experience with uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. The original. I don't think I've ever actually played Advanced before. I've never beaten either one, for sure. But, yeah. I was playing the original one, the mobile port of it a little bit, but the control scheme irritated the hell out of me. I hated the control scheme on it. It was not by chance that this trouble came to be. Right. Down this banana real quick. You like the system for the advanced games? but the story is not good. <laughs> well, that sucks. Now, when you say advanced games, are you talking about the, uh, what was it? The, I forget the name of it, but one of them was on DS, right? There was like a DS tactics, the advanced tactics, and then the original on PlayStation 1. Tactics in A2. Okay, yeah. Ah. One problem with having such a big beard sometimes it gets stuck in my mouth and I hate it. <laughs> Just the hair in general, man. Ah, so there's a fair few people we never got around to unlocking, which I again makes sense because I didn't really do the uh side stuff eat the beard it doesn't taste very good <laughs> well correction it doesn't really have a taste but it doesn't feel very good when you're eating the beard <laughs> so we have kenshi scorpion melina baraka sub-zero i like sub-zero i didn't realize he had a higher difficulty rating though that's uh what i used to main back i'm like Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. Saying I mained it's a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, maybe a little too kind. I've never been good at any of the games, but. But Raicho is also difficulty 4. Night Wolf's difficulty? Wait, it's a higher difficulty better? Because <laughs> I found Night Wolf pretty easy to play whenever we were him in the story. Ermac, Cabal. Darius over here looking a little like a. Uh, I can't remember his name, but the meth dude from Breaking Bad. <laughs> Cobra, Dairo, Ashra, and Sujinko. Sujinko's also difficulty 5. Now, I wonder if we play as Sujinko in this mode, will we have all of his moves? Or do we have to unlock those even to play them in arcade? Wait, what are the coins for? I 
I see there were some red coins down there in the corner. I don't really understand why. You do have to unlock them even for this mode. Good to know. Oh god, not Scorpion. <laughs> right off the bat, it's fucking Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I take it back, man. Maybe I don't want to play Shujinko anymore. Uh, let's see if it's gonna be as bad as it was in the uh, in the story mode. Fight. Oh yeah, no, I I know like what the coins are are actually for. I was just confused by like why they popped up here. Do you unlock them as you play the game or something? Like as you play arcade mode? Nice, dude. Level transitions? I like it. I like it. I wish Scorpion was this easy in the main mode. Revenge, Scorpion, revenge. Yeah, right? Ah, oh, dude, level deaths too. This is where it's at, man. How many levels are there in the uh, the arcade mode? I would love to beat it, but I just don't see it happening. I wasn't paying attention to when it was going down, but so that was difficulty twenty five percent. This is difficulty thirty, so five percent harder. Which I mean, doesn't sound bad, right? I mean. If it only goes up to 100, then it doesn't sound bad in general, but I don't know. I definitely see a way to get a level kill over there. Oh, he blocks now. I don't have the quarters to finish. <laughs> <laughs> and before they actually did put some sort of system in the game, you got to use your coins to, to play. There was another combo. Trying to remember what it was. Uh, I don't know any of the finishers. <laughs> Two wins down. Up to 35% again. Doesn't seem too bad so far. Nether ship interior. Cool levels. Too bad we couldn't see more of these. Like in the in the the conquest mode, the story mode. Round one. Fight. Ow. Okay. What was? Oh wait, no, Mantis. Not those combos. Those combos are over my head. It was square, square, up X. That's it. Okay. That's the one I was trying to remember. Damn it. <laughs> Darius! I'm trying to figure out how to extend that juggle, because there's got to be some way to keep that juggle going. Ow. Ooh. Darius almost had us there for a second, man. That's what we get for switching up from what we know. Also, are those spikes on the wall? Can I, like, knock him into the spikes on the wall? Damn, dude. I don't want to get knocked into the spikes on the wall, please. How are we going to go from beating Scorpion to losing to 35% difficulty Darius? 
Conquest Scorpion, to be clear. Again, I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know the finishers! It'd be cool if we did. I, I mean, I'm curious what Shujinko's finisher is. I forgot to... I turned the camera on, but then forgot to transition it over. There we go. Oh, shit. We fighting ourselves, boys. With the power that Onaga gave us, I was kind of hoping we would get a whole... It was Shao Kahn, right? That can, like, transform into other people. Round one. Fight! <laughs> Oh, is that? Okay. I was legit scared for a second, thinking that was instant death. Five percent doesn't sound like a lot, but holy hell, man. Bastard. I wasted my thing. My last breaker, thinking I could win that fight. The sword actually has decent range, doesn't it? Which, I mean, makes sense. It's a, it's a sword. It's, a, it's an extension of your body. question is do we have continues or no ah oh, damn he won nice is he gonna do a finisher no i was hoping he would do one i just want to see what they look like uh yeah continue do we have infinite continues because that's pretty dope Maybe not. I mean, I'm willing to keep playing as Shijinko. It is infinite continue. Well, I guess I don't know that to be true. But I don't see any counter or anything going down. I really don't like Noodle's Cup. Every time I take a drink from it, I dump it all over myself. Mm. He shouldn't have stole the cup. Are you saying that because it's a uh, whatever it's called? Oh, C shouldn't have stole the cup. You were telling me I shouldn't have stole the cup. I thought maybe that had something to do with the the movie that it's from. What am I call it? Can't remember the name of the movie. The Sanderson Sisters. Terrible Halloween movie. Hocus Pocus, yeah, that's it. I'm not a fan of that movie at all, man. Oh, we got a level finisher at least. Nice, dude. Like it, like it. Or level fatality. So every time we beat a level, do we get that many coins? Or is it just like going up? We just get more coins the higher we go. And then you get one prize whenever you quit. I'm, I'm guessing it's we get those number of coins for every level we beat. Round one, fight. This is 
This is a weird level. <laughs> what is what is this? <laughs> why, why why is there like happy island music and shit? Oh. Okay, this makes more sense. To change the right? Damn you, Nightwolf. Why do you have to be so good at this? Damn, dude. Why'd you get so much harder all of a sudden? Damn you. Fair. Fair. Round three. Fight. Stealing Raiden's thunder, literally. I don't want to get knocked into the water. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to end well for us. I wonder if it would be different if we got knocked into the water when we were, like, uh, not in the, the dark scene, but, like, in the normal scene. I actually remember enjoying Nightwolf a bit whenever I played him. Let's try Nightwolf again. Love that tropical beach music. It feels so weird having that in a Mortal Kombat game, though. Very out of place. Yin Yang Island. That's a good name for it. Makes sense. Round one, fight. Now, how did we... Reflector, lightning from above, rhino charge, forward, forward, circle, and down, up, square, forward, forward, circle. I remember we used, we used this to great effect <laughs> whenever we were him. We basically just rhino charged people repeatedly, and somehow it worked. I don't know if it'll work here, but... the, the pop-up. Okay, that's a knockback pop-up. There we go. So just up triangle. Not too bad. Not too bad. Ah, oh, you bastard. That's what I was trying to do. You're just better at doing combos than I am. <laughs> no, I don't want to be knocked into the water, please. Ow. 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 Can I... Why can I not break? I'm holding R2 and toward him. And we have break things up there. Weird. Nice, dude. Okay, so it doesn't work when they're ducking, which makes sense. Ah, 
Ah, you bastard. We're gonna die again. Uh. Yep. <laughs> fair, fair. So I guess we found our skill level. It's roughly, what was it, 45% difficulty? <laughs> Not too high. Honestly, I feel like that just makes it all the more impressive that we were able to kill uh, Scorpion. Now, granted, it took like two hours, but... So wait, if it goes up 5% each time, and we start it on 20... That's what, 16 fights or something? Fight. And we're on fight four? I really need to, there we go, wait a second longer before I do the, the jab combo there for the juggle. He's soon again. Damn you. Nice little uppercut to end it. So that's all I know how to do. Do you have to unlock the fatalities as well, or do you just have to know the button inputs for it? I wouldn't be surprised if they're also an unlock. Oh. I'm guessing falling off this one would not be good for you. Holy shit, is it actually like getting smaller? Or is that just cosmetic? Aw, oh, you bastard. I think those are just cosmetics. Maybe not, though. <laughs> wins. Round two. Fight. Ermac and Nightwolf are very similar to each other, aren't they? Oh, what? I don't want to be over here. I really don't want to be over here. I can't see how being on that edge would be good for us. Yep. <laughs> like I was saying. <laughs> okay, so the circle down kick is a little bit farther range than the other one. Fair enough, man. Couldn't do shit against Magic Boy. I'm still curious where the difficulty ratings come from. 
Yes, wait, who was number... So Cobra is supposedly difficulty one? Cobra. Let's try him out. Because that's about our skill level, you know, right around a one. So <laughs> seems like a good place to, to be. Take a quick look at his special moves, at least. The rest of it we can try to figure out just by fighting, but... I ain't gonna accidentally stumble across the special moves. Or, well, I guess it's possible, but it's pretty unlikely. Windmill Kick, Burning Fist, Telepunch, Chi Blast, Crouching Chi Blast. Chi, Chi, uh. Burning Fist and Windmill Kick. Down, back, circle, down, forward, triangle. I see why he's considered a pretty easy character to play, though. Down, back, circle. And what was it? Down, forward, okay. Down, forward, triangle. Forward, square. So is he like... What was, what was his name, man? Liu Kang? Is he meant to be like... Kind of, no. What? So is that the is that the teleblast? Special moves. Telepunch. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so that's a, a longer range pop-up. Can we tell just by the names what the hammer fist uppercut? Is that it? It's cutting kick, rising axe kick, low kick, flip kick, double flip kick. Round two. Okay, I kind of want to know what the double Fight. flip kick does. <laughs> Gotta not die first. Man. Holy shit! That was kind of cheap. <laughs> that answers our question, though. The level does legitimately get smaller. idea why that happened but i'm not mad about it it's better than just the simple uppercut i was gonna do i guess beetle lair wait were there two people there are we fighting i'm confused i need to pay more attention we are noob and smoke oh now, I'm assuming they at least share one health pool, though, right? Damn, okay. Oh my god. Okay, dude. Nice. They are gonna seriously kick my ass. Can we pick up these weapons? Damn near flawless. I know there's a Mortal Kombat where you can pick up weapons, right? Okay. 
Damn, dude, these guys are kicking my ass. They're so quick. <laughs> They're just everywhere. So that special move is more or less our pop-up. Oh, that is too. How did I do that, though? That was luck, man. <laughs> that was definitely luck there at the end. Round three. Fight. How did... What, what was it? Was it up circle, up circle? Damn it. Why can I not get these inputs in right? I don't know if I, I... I don't know. I thought I hit him more than that, but look at that health, man. I guess not. Good shit. Good shit. We'll try one more character. Let's try uh, my old favorite, Sub-Zero. I have very little experience with him in this game. Doubt it's going to go well, but we'll try him out, dude. If I remember correctly, whenever we did control him in the story mode, I didn't do very well with him either, but try it nonetheless. Round one. Oh, there we go. Uh, down back square for the clone. Freeze ball down forward X. Okay. Down forward X. Fight. Nice. And then back triangle is a pop up. I like that. He's invisible? What? He's legitimately invisible. <laughs> that does not seem fair. What's my... Okay, I, have, I do have a simple three-hit combo. Isn't it down back something? There we go. This is not... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a glitch or if he's meant to be invisible like that, but that is not fair, my guy. Damn it, I was trying to get the double. I saw him chasing me down. What's the pop-up? Back. Can't test it because I can't hit him. <laughs> I can't fucking see him. <laughs> nice kick to the nuts. I like it. Kicks to the nuts are always my favorite, dude. Yeah. We'll try Scorpion again. I like Scorpion. Even if I do suck with him, I still like Scorpion. Or not Scorpion. I meant to say Sub-Zero. Whatever. We're trying a Scorpion, I guess. <laughs> He's a difficulty 2 character, so I mean... In theory, maybe he'll be a little bit easier to do anything with. Burn the bastard. <laughs> uh, dude, we should have played a scorpion when we were fighting Shujinko. Could have flipped the script on him. Bloody spear, back forward square. Hellfire, down back triangle. Teleport, down back X. So down back X, down back triangle. Those are the two that I care most about. God damn, dude. 
Because that's a, a knockback. Triangle? There's the fire. I am curious, though, actually. While we have him, that's a cool way to get up. I want to try, if we can, punch, block. Punch, block. It is pretty quick. Oh, dude, that's... <laughs> that is so much better than Shujinko's. Yeah, so I guess it is just a character thing. And this low-high attack combo, that's pretty dope, too. Scorpio's pretty sick. Okay, I'm sure Shujinko is super powerful if you're good at the game. I am not. What was my teleport move again? Down forward X, okay. Why can't I do it? Down forward X, down forward X, down forward X. It was X, right? Oh, down back X. Duh. There we go. The blind samurai guy? That's that's smoke, right? Is the blind one? And noobs the cyborg looking one? Pretty sure that's what it is. Noob Cybots, like the whatever. The cyborg and smoke is, you know, ninja, because I don't know, ninjas use smoke or whatever. Oh, look who it is! Oh wait, is this the last fight of the arcade mode? We're only at 60% difficulty though. It would be pretty cool to beat the arcade mode. I didn't think we'd have time for it though. His fighting style is just dragon, like. Mm, okay, he's. Oh damn, he's good. Oh, uh, I can't remember his name, but I know I know who you're talking about though. We played as him for a short period in the conquest mode. Round two. Fight. Is it? Does he just not react to when he gets hit, or is he blocking everything? Oh my god, he's got he's got range, dude. Just his normal attacks have range because he's always so or because he's so freaking big. We might be better off just trying to do ranged attacks on him. Like keeping a, a big distance on him. I don't know. He's a tough one. Maybe you can only beat him with Shujinko. It's always one of your favorites to play as. We can try him too, I guess. Technically, we still have like... I was going to get off, but... We can technically stay on for another, like, 10, 15 minutes, about 15 minutes. Round one. Fight. The real question is, does the cheese still work? I was blocking. It. Did I don't think you can pop him up. 
Yeah. Oh. Oh, damn. That will make things so much harder, man. Yeah, that makes combos, like, way more difficult. Oh, man. I mean, I guess it makes sense due to his size or whatever. It does stun him for a second. Do want a pop-up attack, but... Oh, shit. That's rough. Does that also mean that he can, like, knock us into these spikes over here, but we can't knock him into them? Probably. Wait a second. Did he just get weaker when we broke one of the... Something just happened. Is he getting stronger or weaker <laughs> when those things break? This is a whole new dynamic to Mortal Kombat that I never knew there was. Like, destroy things in the level to have things happen? What? We'll try, we'll try your dude. Uh, Kenshi. Kenshi. Wait, did we play as Kenshi or did we just meet Kenshi? I know we met him. Did we ever end up uh, actually playing as him? I, I can't remember for sure. I might have been wrong on that. Round one. Fight. Okay, can we like break these things ourselves or do we have to have him do it? Okay, he's like impossible to get away from. I can't tell if it's actually doing anything or not. Other than stunning him for a moment. I don't think it's actually doing anything. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Nope, there's one more. Okay, yeah, that's all of them. Is he weaker? No. <laughs> He's definitely not weaker. I think it's just a temporary stun on him. Is all it does. Let's actually try fighting him once with, with this guy. With Kenshi. I thought maybe we found the, the pro gamer strats there. Can she? Gotta look up and see what Kenshi's special moves are too. I do not remember. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. He's another telekinetic one. He's got the toss, the push, the flurry. And the mind warp? What's the mind warp do? Round one. Fight! <laughs> Literally just warps us in front of them. Okay. Wait, what was that? Yeah, move. Yeah, I can hear you. Blind man. Oh, damn it. Whatever. I don't care that much. Is he blocking it or does it just not do anything? Ow. 
Damn, dude. Wins. Onaga be hard. Round two. Fight. <laughs> I think we're dead now. We're dead now. I lied. One more try. Back to Shujinko. Because, I mean, Shujinko is the one that's meant to beat him, right? Shujinko. Difficulty 5 character, whatever the hell that means. I wonder what difficulty Onaga would be. If we could play as him. Round one. Fight! Damn you. Damn, dude, he's strong. Don't fall, Shujinko. We're dead. Okay, I mean, I guess we're technically we're dead. <laughs> They technically, I guess, were alive, but that ain't gonna last for long. I mean, <laughs> Owie, Owie is right. What do you get for beating uh, Mr. Onaga here? You just, like, unlock him as a character, or? God, not being able to pop him up makes things so much harder, man. And the fact that, like, he just doesn't get stunned really at all. Outside of... Ouch. Outside of whenever you hit one of the Kamidogus. Anyways, that was fun, man. I'm glad that we played Mortal Kombat Deception. Looking forward to playing the other ones at some point. Uh, how many votes? I think the other Mortal Kombat game has a couple votes on it. Not as many. Shaolin Monks. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, it has 82, so there's a decent chance. So what's next since we finish this? We rolled. You must have been away from the computer for a second. Uh, we rolled for Metal Gear Solid 3 will be the next one. We'll be finishing up the Metal Gear series. I'm guessing that'll probably take four or five weeks, I'm guessing, right around there. Oh, boy, Joker's going to be happy to see. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but that's the last of the Metal Gear Solid games, except for, I mean, technically there's the like upgraded versions of them that were on PS2 as well. They're the same game, but just like better controls and things like that. I do want to get those and try them at least, but I don't know if we'll do full playthroughs of them. Because as far as I'm aware, Chocobo can be, can, can, can correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I'm aware, it's the same storyline just uh much better controls and maybe slightly different like placement of things or something i don't remember I, I read about it at one point but i don't remember story is the same okay i thought so yeah but uh anyways yeah oh boy so until next time guys <laughs> what is today today's wednesday so tomorrow night we'll be playing something else on the ps2 don't know what yet won't know until then we got plenty of great games to play, including, of course, our new one, uh, Sims 2 Castaway. There's some blue on the case, so it's kind of disappearing on us, but uh, Sims 2 Castaway. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hop off here and then probably try and make sure this Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced part works at some point. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Those of you who can be here tomorrow, I hope to see you then. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. Thank you, Rue.
we can change our type of tires. 